Alright guys, so we're gonna update this PCM on a 14 Ascent 1.6 liter um, using the GDS with the VCI2. Now this is just going to be for a demonstration. I just want to show you how this is done with the GDS. Uh, this module already has the latest calibration. So I'm just going to show you a little bit with the auto function and the manual update function. Alright, so we are online. We've already identified the vehicle VIN. Okay, uh, we have a... I'm using a wire connection going to the VCI. So first thing I'm just going to do is show you where to find the calibration number in the PCM. It's going to be an SW management system, engine control, see we have all this. So we're going to go to system identification. Yeah. It's a bit of a glare on the screen. Okay, calibration ID is right there in the middle. We're just going to remember these last four, which is going to be 4C00. Okay, pretty cool. So we're going to back out and go home. And we're going to go to ECU upgrade. Checking server. Okay, so these are the two modes you have. One is auto mode. The other one is manual mode. Manual mode is typically used when the auto mode fails. Now when you go to do the manual mode um, you will need a four digit pin which is found in uh, a, a technical service bulletin to complete this um, updating. Alright so now this this computer already has the latest calibration but once again this is all going to be for a demonstration purpose so anyway if we go to click auto mode click on the engine and we're going to check ID check this is going to check the ROM ID <clears throat> see the ECU upgrade has already been completed we know that already currently in vehicle 4C00 that's right because we checked it before so let's go to manual mode click on engine okay so once we click on engine, we're in manual mode right now. This is basically going to be our selection of part numbers. Now, from what I heard of in the past, is you can actually uh, you can actually select the wrong calibration and put the wrong calibration into this PCM. I've heard of that story happening before, and I've also heard that you can go back and reselect the right one and fix it. And basically put the right one back in there. Don't know how true it is, but anyway. So if we look at our first five, three, nine, one, one, zero, then we have two B Apple D zero. This is the part number found on the actual PCM. Three nine one one zero two B Apple S nine. So we have two B Apple S nine. Okay, we're going to remember that. Two B Apple S nine. So if we look at our second option here. We have 2B Apple D5 slash S9. So that's going to be the one we're going to choose. And latest update, that just shows us the latest calibration number. And once we select the S9, we'll see our 4C00 pop up. Okay, so we're going to hit upgrade. And this is going to be the part where it asks us for our password. Once again, you find this four digits in the technical service bulletin. So, put in our code. And there's also an option there to check TSB. We've done that already. Okay, so we're going to hit OK to start it.
and the VCI 2 is flashing green. Now it's a solid blue. It's kind of hard to see, but it's blue. Okay. And just to let you guys know, this tablet is the Samsung SMT540. It's running on Android, uh, Android 10. Pretty good. Hopefully, it'll last. And this is the part where you just have to be a little patient. It's going to take about a minute. <clears throat> there it goes. Still flashing blue. Okay. VCI2 just beeped, stopped flashing. Now we have a solid green. Okay. Right, turn ignition on for 10 seconds. Cool thing about this is they actually give you a timer here. They said on some of the dual clutch uh, transmissions, I believe, you have to wait 30 seconds. about 15 here. Okay. Turn back on and click OK to continue. Succeeded. Currently in vehicle. It's the same one we already had. Well, there you go. Pretty cool.